Good morning. It is the first day of a brand new week on. And I'm actually really looking forward to this one because I'm not doing a fad diet this time. Or am I? I guess technically it is. Um, as you can see from the logo behind me, I am going to be doing a week on Subway. Although you probably already guessed that considering you've uh, read the title of the video. So yes, I for the next seven days I'm going to eat nothing but Subway. And I'm going to kind of try and stick to the Jared Fogel diet. I, I know that's kind of a dirty word to say that, but you know, you can't get around the fact that in the late 90s, early 2000s, Jared Fogel was Mr. Subway. So if you're not sure of the story of Jared, um, he was a pretty big guy. He didn't have a great childhood and um, he compensated by eating. Jared decided to take on a new diet. One which, um, well, he kind of invented, I suppose. He ate nothing but Subway, and he, he dropped an incredible amount of weight. So um, I actually have the information on what Jared ate. Whether he ate this daily, I don't know, but they seem to allude to it. You can't kind of find any solid concrete information anywhere. Everywhere, Everyone's a little bit sketchy on all the details, but effectively he had a coffee for breakfast. He then had a six-inch turkey sub for lunch, and then a foot-long veggie delight and chips with a soda for his dinner, which is an incredible calorie de deficit. I've worked out that that's less than 900 calories for a single day, which, if you're a big guy like Jared was, ain't healthy. Uh, but nevertheless, we need to try it, don't we? We need to see how it's going to be, although maybe not for the full week. We'll have to mix things up, otherwise it will get very boring. Plus, I have my doubts as to that's what Jared actually did. So, there we go. What I want to do is actually stick to between 1,600 and 1,900 calories a day, eating nothing but Subway. And I'm only going to stick to the subs and the flatbreads, technically, rather than move on to the salads and, the, and things like that. And also, I'm going to try and stick to Jared's kind of meal plan, in that I'm just going to have a drink for breakfast. Not a coffee. I'll have a tea, because I'm British, don't you know? Uh, and then I'll have a six-inch sub for my lunch, and then a 12 inch or a foot long for dinner. Whether I have chips in that, I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of play it by ear and see how I feel on the day. But that's it, there's not really any rules to it. This is, this is, I guess, a very retro diet now. I don't think the Subway kind of like to associate themselves with it, especially since, obviously, Jared remade the news in recent years by doing some very, very nasty stuff. But the less said about that, the better. So, um, yes. Not much else to say, really. I'm gonna hop on the scales, see what uh, see what we're gonna do. Eat lots of sandwiches, I suppose. Right. Let's see what Subway's working with here. Fourteen stone, one point eight. Okay. Hey, dude. How you getting on? Look at that perfect loaf. Kind of like. One of the, the loaves that come out of the ovens at Subway. What do you reckon, Basil? Why do you literally purposefully, every time I come near you with the camera, you turn away? 14 sandwiches in a row. Has it ever been done? Will it ever be done again? Probably. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just approaching lunchtime now, so getting hungry for the sandwich. So, for the first meal of a week on Subway, I have my nice six incher right here. Enough of the jokes already, it's going to get boring. So, ooh, that looks, that looks that quite really presentable. presentable yeah. <laughs> it does. It actually it's... looks like what it looks like on yeah, in the restaurant. It well, does. Take away a bit. Top marks to my. What do they, they call them? Like They call them sandwich crafts? Or what do they oh, call really? them? Oh, I'm going to have to find that out. But um, yeah, that looks really good. It's a turkey on nine wheat bread. And uh, if I can just part it slightly, I've got cucumber, pickles, lettuce, and onion on there, and no sauce. So um, yeah, very, very nice looking sandwich. A little bit annoyed that I've not got sauce, but you know, Jared doesn't have sauce, does he? Gracie's got a sandwich. She's not sticking to the diet no. this week, but you're going to have the occasional one. I'm going to have one, a little treat, yeah. Aren't you? Um, so I've got turkey breast and ham um, with a bit of cheese, and I've got a little bit of mayo. Pickle, cucumber, lettuce, olive, sweet corn. Oh, you've ruined it with those olives, man. And it's toasted. Ruined it with the olives. Oh, no. Add a bit of saltiness. Oh, nice. no. 
I also have some quavers. So it's what did I say the calories were in that one, Gracie? I've completely forgotten. 268, yeah. So there's 268. That's nothing, really, in calories for the day. Um, I've also got I've got the meal deal. So I've got some quavers. And there's 107 calories in my quavers. And also I have a Pepsi Max. So I think there's like zero calories in there. Less what? than one. So that's fine. We won't count that. Let's pretend that calorie or less than that one calorie doesn't exist. So I'm looking forward to uh, eating this, even though there's no mayo in it. And... I don't think you can eat that. It looks too, too nice. Yeah, shall I frame it? Yeah. Shall I put it on the wall? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a shame to eat it. It just looks so picturesque. But, yeah, I'm a little bit gutted that there's no sauce in it. But, you know, this is the sandwich that Jared had every day for his lunch, isn't it? So... Good, but dry. <laughs> Thankfully the lettuce and the cucumber had a bit of moisture in there. Mm. Oh yeah, that is dry. Can't say going forward I'm going to be particularly keen with saying, no thank you, I don't want sauce. It looked um, like they've not scrimped on the meat at all though. It's not bad. It's good. I'm over the moon in that presentation. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like he knew. By the way, this isn't sponsored by somebody they didn't know. Mm. If you've never had quavers before, this is a quaver. It's horrible when someone else is eating quavers though, because they actually smell like feet. They Even stink, they don't they? Lovely, they mm. When someone else is eating them. Someone else's quavers are the worst thing in the world, yeah. but your own quavers <laughs> are the best thing in the world. So there we go, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as I would if there was some mayo in it. How's yours? Yeah, it's really good actually. How's the mayo? Lovely mayo. And um, it's nice to have the different meats in there. Alright, don't rub it in. Well, lunch was delicious, of course. But yeah, it was missing that little bit. Little something. Whereas yours had the complete package, didn't it? Yeah, it was very nice. Gotta say. I am jealous, but you know, still only the first meal of 14. So plenty more to go to... Uh, to get my mayo fix. So we're just at, uh, off out to see my dad, pay him a visit, and then um, probably on the way back we'll grab some dinner. So not going to be much going on today, but uh, obviously just stay tuned. So I've got to admit, I was a little bit apprehensive with ordering this uh, dinner because it kind of feels weird ordering nothing but bread and salad. It, it doesn't, it feels like a cop out. I mean, but it's on the menu, so you really shouldn't feel stupid because it's obviously a vegan option. Um, but here it is. Here's my foot long veggie delight in uh, white bread or Italian bread as they call it. So I basically, I had got everything that they offer. So let's take a look. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a whole mess of vegetables. So we've got lettuce, tomato, onion, sweet corn, olives, pickles, peppers, jalapenos. And, um, yeah, it's looking, looking, smelling fine. There is no sauce on there, no cheese. It isn't toasted because that's how our Subway weight loss lord and saviour Jared Fogel had it. So there we go, that, that is my sandwich. I'm going to tuck into that. 520 calories for a foot long veggie sub white bread. So it's not, it's actually super low in calories. And I've, uh, I've got some cheese and onion crisps, which are 161 calories. And also a uh, Pepsi Max cherry, again, zero calories. So we've got just over like 500 and, no, what do we have? 650 calories, all of that. Very, very low, so I'm going to be super duper under the recommended daily allowance for today. So, I really wouldn't recommend so far Jared's um, Subway diet, or anything to do with Jared for that matter. Okay, let's eat. Mmm, what do you have for dinner tonight, Gracie? I have cheeseburgers and chips. And homemade chips. Yeah. And good at looking burgers. Mm. They are loaded, but no buns. No, no buns. Just a little bit of cheese and onions and pickles and some sauces. That that is a really good. And oh, yeah. Just um, as I was going to bring point to mm. it, you appear to have sauces. I do. 
Yeah, very nice. Which is um, is lacking from mine, so hopefully <laughs> it'll be good. I'm going to go and eat this now. Oh, right. Here's my sandwich. It's not as uh, picturesque as this morning's. I'm also, I am, I am sad. Oh, I've got, I'm losing valuable sweet corn. I'm also apprehensive about the olives because... The olive will be nice. I hate olives. It'll be a bit salty. Just get it in. Have a taste. How's your salad sandwich? It's actually really nice. Is it? We've got jalapenos in there as well. Yeah, jalapenos, peppers, onions, lettuce, cucumber, sweet corn, pickles. Mm. It's nice. really, really nice. Can you taste the onion? I don't know, but thankfully not. <laughs> and the, sp the spice of the jalapeno in there is really good. And it, it's got a lot of wet stuff in there. I guess I didn't have tomatoes in my sauceless sandwich this morning. Bread's really good. So you'd have it again then? No. <laughs> but it is nice. Well, I'm loving my burgers. Well, good for you. Hey there, Baz. Figured I should show you because if I don't show you in these videos, then people get mad at me. I don't know why. Why do people like you so much when you're such a sod? You're an ignorant sod, aren't you? Mm. We saw your cousin at my dad's, didn't we? He's got a little black cat just like you, but not as grumpy. How does that make you feel? Grumpy, I expect. Oh, okay. That was the first day of a week on the Subway diet. And today kind of went as I thought it would. Um the Jared version of the Subway diet, or at least the version I c can find online, consists of what I had today. So I had my six inch turkey sub on wheat bread, no cheese, no sauce or anything like that. Um, and it was nice. Um, yeah, it was like in sauce. It was definitely like in sauce. But then strangely, when I had my dinner, which was a 12 inch Veggie delight, which means it literally had no meat in it. It was just salad. No sauce, no cheese. It was somehow nicer. I think that was maybe because the white bread. I prefer that to the wheat bread. It wasn't as stodgy, maybe. I um, I enjoyed it. But, again, it was missing something. I think that one was wetter, so I was maybe missing the meat. Also, the olives. Um, the more I ate, the more I disliked. I just don't do olives. Olives are proper dickheads. So, there we go. I also had my quavers with uh, with my lunch and my cheese and onion crisps, the king of crisps, for my dinner. And my total calorie intake for the day is 1,037, which is incredibly low, really. I mean... You, you definitely want to get at least 1,200 calories a day, generally, if you're... And that's even approaching starvation. Um, you are definitely going to kind of want to get more. Um, so, I would be surprised, or I wouldn't be surprised, I should say, that, uh, that Jared lost a lot of weight during his version of the Subway diet, because, yeah, you, you're kind of starving yourself. There's maybe a bit of malnutrition going to gonna kick in eventually. Hence, your body's going to start eating its fat reserves, and you're going to lose weight. But, um, yeah, I, I couldn't eat the same thing every single day. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to do the Jared Fogel version of the Subway diet. Just don't do not do the Jared Fogel version of anything. Just FYI, don't Google it. Um, so, for the next six days of my week on the Subway diet, I'm going to have whatever the hell I want. I am going to stick to subs. So I'm going to have a 6 inch for lunch and a 12 inch for my dinner. I'm also going to have crisps as and when I want them. Uh, I'm not going to bother with breakfasts purely because, well, I mean, Jared didn't do it. So maybe you should. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to have breakfast. I'm going to have like a tea or something in the morning, maybe a coffee. Depends where the mood takes me. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly, I'm going to go once a day to Subway, I think. Um, 
at least I will do in the week, purely because going twice a day will be a bit of a hassle. But I can get my lunch from um, from the, the night before. It'll stick in the fridge because I'm just going to have the kind of the light choices. I think the stuff that you don't really need to eat hot in the uh, in the lunch time. So did I enjoy today? Yeah. Did I have my Subway sandwiches of choice? Absolutely not. I'm ne probably never going to have a veggie delight again. I, if I had a turkey tub, I would definitely have um, something in there else with it, you know, some cheese and some sauce. Um, but, you know, it's nice to try these things. You've got to try them, you might like them. Oh my god, here I am having a revelation about a bloody turkey sandwich when, like, like it's some profound thing. I'm an idiot. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to bed wishing that I had a little bit more for dinner but um, I would say it's a pretty good start. If you did that every day you'd be bored off your tits. So um, that's definitely not what I'm going to do. So if you want to find out how I get on for the next six days then please do subscribe to the channel. Please, as if you can do or if you want to, support the show on Patreon. It helps me to keep going. Or just follow me on social media. My inane ramblings will hopefully keep you entertained. Just like I hope the rest of this week keeps you entertained. I'm looking forward to it because I love sandwiches. See you on day two.